Well, they are called adhesions. They are internal scarring that may form after abdominal or pelvic surgery on or between internal organs or internal body tissue. Now, these adhesions can twist and pull organs out of their normal positions inside our bodies and lead to complications. Joining us this morning is Karen Wasinski, RNC, and Michael Stein, Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, here to talk to us about adhesions and what can be done to reduce the risk if we do have to go into abdominal or pelvic surgery. All right, guys, a mouthful, but did I get it like close to right? Yes, you did, Daniel. All right, thank you. And he didn't say anything, which means yes, too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I know you do have a lot to say about this topic. Let's get a better understanding of adhesions, exactly what happens to cause them. I think we need to first understand exactly what you said. What is an adhesion? And an easy way for you to understand that is to think of an adhesion as a scar that forms inside of our body after surgery. Anytime after surgery, that tissue is touched or moved around inside the body, it needs to heal. During this healing, if other tissues come in contact with it, they stick to it and or form an adhesion. As you can see illustrated here, during this healing process, it happens in the first seven days. But Karen, how would I even know if I have an adhesion? So the only way to actually confirm if you have an adhesion is for somebody to take a look in your belly. You actually have to have surgery in order to see them. Now there are some symptoms that make us suspicious that adhesions have formed. You can have a tugging or a pulling sensation just when you move a certain way or exercise. Some women complain of like a chronic constant pain that's with them all the time. Uh, you can have trouble getting pregnant and some women even have the inability to get pregnant at all. Mm -hmm. In my everyday life when I'm at the hospital working, I take Take care of women and see these problems all the time. We even have a special program set up for women suffering from chronic abdominal pelvic pain and a lot of times it can be linked back to a previous surgery. Now what kinds of surgeries doctors should women be aware of that could cause adhesions? Actually any surgery can cause adhesions in both men and women. As it pertains to women specifically, we have to remember that the number one surgery performed in the United States is the cesarean section. Over 1.3 million C-sections are performed every year, and this number is only predicted to increase. And the number two surgery performed in the United States today is also performed on a woman. This is a hysterectomy, or removal of a woman's womb from her body. Over 400,000 hysterectomies are performed annually, and this number, again, is only predicted to increase. Another very common surgery performed on a woman is a myomectomy, or removal of a benign fibroid or tissue from her uterus. This can be due to various reasons, such as pain, bleeding, or infertility, as Karen said. All three of these very common female abdominal pelvic surgeries can put a woman at risk for having adhesions. So Karen, let's talk a little bit about hysterectomies and myomectomies, because you mentioned that just a bit earlier. How common are adhesions after these particular surgeries, and how would we know if we have adhesions? So your doctor, when you get a hysterectomy or myomectomy, may make two types of incisions or cuts in your belly. There may be one that goes across your belly like this or one that goes up and down your belly like that. In 93% of open surgeries such as those, adhesions can form. Our chronic pelvic pain patients, 50% of the pain that they have from their surgery can be traced back to adhesion-related issues. When you have adhesions that wrap around your ovaries or your fallopian tubes, you can have trouble getting pregnant. And when you have adhesions that wrap around your intestines, you can also have problems with small bowel obstruction or bowel habits. It's important to say that not all of these problems will happen if you have surgery, but when they do, they can be severe and sometimes even emergent. So it's important to look and ask your doctor, is there something that can be done so that these issues don't happen? You know, doctor, I, I did tell you all off camera that I had three C-sections. I did feel that kind of tugging, pulling. You know, I had no idea what it was or what it could be. If a C-section is in a woman's future, are there questions that you could recommend that she asks her health professional or OBGYN? Well, Danielle, let's not make it specific for just C-sections. A woman should, can and should ask her physician certain questions anytime she goes through any abdominal pelvic surgery. Questions such as, are there any risks or complications, possible complications that I, as a woman, can get from this surgery? What should I expect in the natural healing process? When should I expect to go back to my everyday life? Other questions can be, are there signs or symptoms that I should be aware of, of possible complications or that an adhesion is forming inside my body? And last but not least is, doctor, is there techniques that you can use or are there products on the market today that you can use to decrease my risk of forming an adhesion? 
I've been a labor and delivery nurse for about 17 years. In the first part of my career, I did a lot with C-sections and I never even heard of adhesion barriers. In the last three years, I've actually transitioned into doing more hysterectomies and myomectomies. This is when I started hearing about adhesion barriers and problems that can happen if adhesion barriers aren't used. So what you want to do is ask your physician if there is an adhesion barrier that can be used during your surgery. I have to tell you guys, just great information this morning, and thank you so much for coming by and sharing it with our viewers. Thank you so much for having us.